prejudice in the Old South. The Old South? Hot dog. Can I play Robert E. Lee? Robert E. Lee? He isn't in his play, Nipper. I thought you said this was about the Old South. It is. Gee, how can you do a play about the Old South without Robert E. Lee? Listen, Nipper, Uncle Tom's Cabin is a story written by Harriet Beecher Stowe. It's about the Old South in the days before the Civil War. Eliza are slaves who are sold down the river to a wicked slave driver, Simon Legree, who mistreats Uncle Tom and all his slaves. We will recreate that era when men were not brothers. They were masters or slaves. So much for the good old days. Now then, Nipper, I have you cast as Miss Eliza, the slave girl. Oh, no, not me. Script girl. Here we go. I'm not dressing up like no girl. Typical male attitude. Hang on to him, Connie. Hey, Fatso, what about this here slave driver character? You mean Simon Legree? Yeah, that's the guy. Tell you what, I'll be in your play if I can beat him. Gee, Ralph, 
That's exactly what I had in mind. But I thought I was going to have to talk you into it. Yeah, you said you didn't want to be any sissy actor. Well, if I get to play Simon Legree, that's different. He's my favorite hero. Hero? Well, actually, Ralph, he wasn't a hero. He wasn't what? You go bad-mouthing Simon Legree in front of me, fatso. Come on, Tom. Okay, places, everybody. Randy will play the old slave, Uncle Tom. Nipper is Miss Eliza, and Sybil will be Simon Legree's personal slave and girlfriend. My what? Girlfriend. And Ralph, would you please get that cat off the stage? Wait a minute. Simon Legree had a girlfriend? Sure, it says so right in the book. Simon Legree? Don't take it so hard, Ralph. At least you didn't have to go to school with her. Yeah, I know, but still. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Let me have the three slaves in Simon Legree center stage. Hey, why can't I be a slave? I want to be in the play. How can you be a slave? You're not colored. I am too. I got red hair and freckles and a purple birthmark on my... Forget it, Jerry. It just won't do. Phooey. I knew we should have done Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> Let's get busy. First, we'll do a technical run-through. Right. What's that? When we try out the lights and all the props we're going to use. Okay, let's try the treadmill. Coming up. Now then, Nipper, in the scene where Simon Legree is chasing across the ice, what's he chasing me for? I didn't do anything. You're a runaway slave, and he's trying to recapture you and take you back in chains. I'm only trying to protect my property. Boy, if you ask me, us sisters took a bum laugh. Pay attention now, Nipper. You just run under the treadmill, and you keep right on running like this. Now let's have the wind machine. Uncle Tom, he 
Orange enough. What does he know? 
imagination in our production of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Oliver, you must be kidding. No, I mean it. He said it was remarkable the way we made people laugh at their own prejudices. I mean, we didn't look like sissies or dummies in front of the parents or teachers or even my old man. Not according to Cringely. You mean I'm wrong? How can that be? I mean, I just don't understand it. There's one thing you can say about good old Ralph. He's not the most understanding person in the world. You can say that again. Thank <laughs> you. 